guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 8 of our dating stories. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I gotta take this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you far from your sister. Uh, nothing to say. Uh, oh, never mind. Wait. Typical. Mm-hmm. Who had a whole summer romance fling? You want to do a group date? I mean, that sounds fun. I would go. What is it gonna be like? Paintball? Paintball fight? Yeah. I'd do it. I've never done it before, but I just know. I know that really hurts. So you have to be very cautious. You can't just be like, you know, as is. You gotta wear like a certain type of uniform and gear and shit and stuff. I, I still be scared. I'm one of them people who are like, oh my god, if I get hurt, <laughs> like, is that actually gonna heal? How long is it gonna take? But it's always about the experience and having fun. It makes me kind of want to go do, um, laser tag, which I have not done in, like, forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just sniff the air? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she also remembers her name, be, be glad. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Of course, always Nicole. <laughs> oh, damn, Makati. Nicole is just a savage. Uh-oh. Oh. Yay, Vina! <laughs> I mean, while well, she's doing it. <laughs> Not that one, no. Oh, it's so pretty. Bye, look at it. <laughs> it's a mismatch one. Those are also my personal faves as well. Look at her outfit. Oh, they're pants. They're shorts. Oh my God, it's cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
But like, mm, I am so lost, but it's cute. <laughs> Vanilla voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, she does not have a boyfriend. <laughs> and we're going to see said ex today, too. Will you hush? Have fun at work. <laughs> well, just us two. Once again, I am glad Akadi finally gets moments to talk because Baby barely got stuff.
No, it's so cute. Yeah, like lip gloss. Bye. Once again, they do so cute. No, baby, Luna. Bye. Why the show is just so wholesome. I love it. Um...
Yeah. It's complicated. Why? He's so fucking cute! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we we hope it works out well. I mean, cause this is this is a sign. If they can get through this, they can get through anything. But okay, um, of course it is obvious that the guy that um Rita was talking to that is Nicole's ex. So something tells me. Nicole is going to interact with him next week in episode 9. But it was really nice to see her, like, talk about him for a moment and see that she's not truly, really over him. Even though, like, Yuta's friends both also have a crush on Nicole and Akari, which is interesting because, you, you know, they could always, like, triple date. It could be a throuple and be so cute and such. I mean, because, like, them going on that little, like, hangout date, friend date and stuff, um, that was interesting. I would love to see more of these six, like, honestly hanging out and stuff and doing things more together, which would be really nice. And I love the fact that it went from friends hanging out to another date. It went from one date to another date. And, and the babies got to have a cute little moment and such. I mean, and then Runa, like, possibly losing her earring, which is, like, near and dear important to her because, like, duh. That's an iconic, like, I, I love the fact with the moon and the stars and everything. That's so freaking cute. I need somebody to make that, like, ASAP. Or something similar to it. I would, in a heart, buy that-ish. I wonder how that's gonna go. out and just being like in each other's like on the feels it was too many feels i cannot they're just so fucking cute and i can't they're so adorable i love them so damn much like oh my god please stop but like no please give me more cute little moments between these two because they're just so freaking adorable and wholesome and such and i cannot with them they so fucking cute, like, ish. And then just the fact that he wants to try so hard for her. And, like, that's so cute. I do hope that Runa also is able to find, like, her interest. Because it is really interesting that both Akari and Nicole both know what they're, like, hugely obsessed with for the rest of their life. And poor Runa, like, and I get it. You are trying to find something. And we've all been like that and such. Like, you're like, I don't think anything really interests me like that. Like, whatever. Like, mm. But sh she'll find it. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode 8 of our dating story. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time.
Bye.